The launch of AMD's highly anticipated Ryzen 5800X 3D, the very first chip with 3D vCache, is approaching very fast, seeing how it's supposed to be releasing on April 20th. However, the closer we get to the release date, the more cynical we are all getting about this CPU and its performance. Because from what we can gather so far, the 3D vCache on the CPU may not be this saving grace we all originally imagined, and instead, it may turn out that this chip will just not be worth it for anyone. But for starters, what exactly is this CPU? Well, it's pretty much just the 5800X, the same 8 cores, 16 threads and similar clocks, but with way more level 3 cache thanks to AMD's 3D stacking technology. And that alone is supposed to add a lot more performance. And early performance numbers seem to suggest that the 3D vCache does get the job done, even if the clock speeds are the same if lower. So we do keep in mind that these are all leaks and rumours and speculations. However, even for that, these numbers are painfully low for the price that AMD is asking for this thing. And for many people, the coolness factor alone of having a 3D vCache chip probably won't make up for the lackluster performance over the standard 5800X. And the price may just be the killing blow to the 5800X 3D, seeing how it costs $450, or the same as the now highly discounted 12 core 5900X. So that's right, for the exact same price, you can get four more cores. The only thing you'd be losing out on there if you go with the 5900X is that 3D vCache but it just doesn't look like it's gonna be worth it anyway. But again, these are just some very early leaked numbers. We do have to wait until the final benchmarks come out so we can see exactly how much faster this CPU goes thanks to their 3D vCache. But still, all of this simply resulted in people not really caring about this chip anymore because apart from the brand new 3D stack cache technology, there really isn't anything too special about it. Instead, it feels like just a lazy attempt by AMD to try and reclaim the gaming crown after the release of the fantastic Intel 12th generation CPU lineup. And pretty much all the hype since the original Computex announcement has just withered away. But well, just listen to what Dr. Lisa Su said about this tech back then. In this prototype, we're taking our leadership Ryzen 5000 series processor and stacking a 64 megabyte, seven nanometer SRAM directly on top of each core complex, effectively tripling the amount of high-speed L3 cache feeding our Zen 3 cores. And well, this is exactly what it feels like. A tech demo, a prototype, an early sample of this great technology that will probably go on to greatly influence AMD CPUs in the future. But this just feels like a rushed out attempt to showcase this technology without really caring much about what the consumer is getting in return. So it's kind of strange that AMD is releasing such a weird and out of place CPU. And it gets even stranger when you listen to what Dr. Lisa Su said directly afterwards at Computex. So this is a prototype Ryzen 5900X processor with the 3D triplet technology. So yeah, apparently they originally wanted to do this with the 5900X. So where on earth's that CPU? Why on earth aren't we getting a 5900X 3D instead? A chip that will make way more sense. A chip that could beat out Intel in gaming, but still have those 12 cores to completely destroy a 5800X 3D when it comes to productivity. It just boggles my mind that AMD decided to make a 3D vCache version of the 5800X instead of the 5900X, which would have been a much better fit. But even if they created a 5900X 3D, well, I don't think too many people would be even buying it right about now, seeing how, you know, next generation Ryzen's coming out pretty soon, based on Zen 4, and the new socket, and all of that. So like, who on earth is going to invest in Ryzen 5000 right now, of all times? But whatever, as a prototype of great things to come for AMD, it will get the job done. But seeing how it is a prototype, People who buy it will only have themselves to blame. Like you're gonna be blaming yourself if you don't check out our merch store, which is gonna be down in the video description below. We just launched this brand new tool pouch design, which I think is absolutely awesome. So if you want a handy place to store all your tools, then definitely check it out. And if you wanna help support this channel in other ways, we also have our Patreon down in the video description below. And even just one singular dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Brian, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shin Allcroft, Lansby, Common Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. 
down there you're also going to find our discord server if you can talk to me or oh, this or whatever else really and down there's our social media links as well but whatever that's what it's i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then remember to subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in whatever i make next goodbye everyone good bye